Welcome to Burt Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons. And in this lesson, we're going to be learning uh, dueling banjos, or at least part of dueling banjos. We may break this into two lessons because you have the simple line part and then you have more the, the, the faster part. So I'm going to probably divide that into two different lessons. Uh, before I start, I do want to thank my patrons who are making these lessons possible. I could not do it without their help. I couldn't continue to do this without the help of those who are giving back to this. So I want to thank those who are who are doing that and to those who might consider doing that uh, to help this project continue and give back. It, it means the world to me the, to have that, that support and that belief in what we're trying to do here. Also, I want to thank those who are sharing the videos and those who are uh, recommending me to their festivals and to their local clubs. So... This first part is definitely, uh, we're in G tuning. It's definitely suitable for a beginner. The second part uh, is a bit more advanced, not not too bad, and uh, won't be hard to do, I don't believe. But we're going to just do the first part today because there's a lot to learn. So when the, the tune starts, you're just really, what the important thing is, is you're strumming a G, a C, and then a G. As long as you get that... So when we start, we're making a G, strumming it, C, G. That's really all you're doing. So, or, now the rest is just a series of little runs. So you're gonna start on the second string. We'll just do a run at a time. So second string, O, one, three, O, open, one, third string, second fret, second string open, third string open, third string, second fret. So watch this left hand fingering, O, one, three, O, one. Just making like a D7, third string, second string open, third string open. If you skip a fret, skip a finger. So I'm using my open index ring. O, one, three. And you're just hitting single strings. What you can do is do a hammer on. So, O1, hammer on, two. Now remember, you're playing two parts. So if you were actually playing this with someone else, you would only do, and then they would play, da da da, they would do the other one. 
So from the beginning, here's what you have. Then they would play if they had it, but if not, you would do, you would repeat that. And then again. So you're actually playing that phrase four times. Now what you're playing is Yankee Doodle went to town. So you're starting on the fourth string. So you're hitting the fourth string, third string, third string, third string, second fret, second string, third string, second string, third string, second fret. So. Again. From the beginning. And then you're answering that with writing on a pone. You're leaving off the knee of pony. So fourth string, third string, third string, third string, second fret, second string, third string open. So going back to Yankee Doodle. Then. So make sure that is all memorized. I'm going to leave off this part when I repeat. So here's your next run or your next phrase. So third string, fifth, third. In a previous lesson, I talked about going up your scale. You're really just going up your scale. So third string, fifth string, is it just as embellishment? So you're hitting that third string twice. Third string, second fret, second string open, second string, first fret. Second string, third fret. Leave that one down. Leave this finger down when you hit that third. Lift up your third, one, open. Second string open. So. Repeat that. So. Now I came down here and did this before, and that's fine. So for your next phrase, this is going to seem a little tricky, and it's really not that bad. Um, but you're going to, you're going to bar the first three strings at the fifth fret with your pointed finger. You're going to play the third string. Then you're going to use your ring finger and just catch the third string at the seventh fret. Second string, still barred. Second string, you're going to bring that middle finger down on the 6th fret. You're going to hit the 1st string open. 
Sorry, and then you're gonna put that middle finger back down on the second string, sixth fret, and then open. So instead of me repeating all that, I think you can kind of see what I'm doing. Five, five, this is on the third string. Seven, second string, you're holding five. Six, first string, you're holding five. You're bringing that back down to six on the second string and then open. You may want to stop there and get that down. And you're going back down. So you're hitting your next phrase is third string open, third string second fret, second string, just playing up your scale. First, uh, second string first fret. Second string, third fret, first fret, open. So let's do it from the uh, that's played much slower, of course. First three strings at the seventh fret, and you're doing the same exact thing. So if you have this, you just slide down at the seventh, do the same exact thing. Let's do this from the beginning. Sometimes people do four of these. That would be the third. Some do just twice. From there, you're, you're starting to repeat that. I'm actually saving this for the next video, but I want to show you that. Okay, so make sure you have that much memorized before we do the faster part and the lead in to the faster part. And uh, so there you have it. I don't think that'll be hard to follow. There is a lot of memory just because you got these different runs up and down your neck there. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that and we will see you on the next lesson. 
and we will we will continue this where we go into the faster uh, version of it and show you how to put it all together. So have fun with it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing your comments. We will see you very soon on the next lesson. Have a good day.